I'm introducing the Panasonic HC V10 HD video camera. It's a very small camera, but uh, it can do quite a bit. I'm going to show you how to get started and be able to start shooting with it and to uh, be able to upload to YouTube uh, which, or to your computer, either way you want to do it. Okay, so we're going to have it shut like it normally is. Uh, you can take the camera out and you open it up to this area and as you can see there's two buttons here's the on and off and here's the trash button that's when you're deleting pictures of course uh, here we'll hit the power button the lights should come on so we have this button right here this opens your lens cover we can shoot something here let's start recording and the record button is on the back side it's right here next to the battery so there we had, we'll start recording right there and spin it around here and there we are recording and now you can see the other camera I'm going to point it down just so it doesn't get confusing this is what I'm recording there's my keyboard on the top here is the button for your image stabilization OIS they call it so there it is on the top we, we're going to have that on so you have a stable shot first thing we do is we're gonna have to we're gonna switch gears here this little button on the back side slides and that's your play or your record button so if you want to play videos you just slide it the other way and then record and there's all the videos that came up now to view those photos I can go over here and hit this is an arrow key it's got four arrows top and bottom left and right um, I'm just gonna arrow over and get this first one and if we wanted to view that one, we would just go over to where the, bring the yellow box over, select it, and hit enter. Give it a second. And now it's playing our video that I recorded just earlier. And I'm gonna hit pause, or stop, and it takes us back. And as you, if you can see in the bottom right corner, back when I was playing, there was a diagram of what this four button does, four arrow key does. It actually, um, I'm not showing you real well. This four arrow keys uh, is demonstrated in the bottom right corner when we're playing. I'll try. I'll show you that again. I'm going to hit enter, and now see the it popped up on the right there. And it's got like right over here. It's got little uh, arrows keys. It shows you what it means. I can hit pause, which is the upper one. And now, if you look at it, the top of this arrow is blinking yellow, and it means that you're paused. It. You can also hit backwards, reverse and forwards and then down is actually stop so that's pretty simple that way um, if you want to go back to recording um, then all you do is you go back and hit this button again and you're back to recording give it a second and we're back to recording again so we can go and shoot something and we can check it out and come back go back and forth pretty easy by using this button back here above the battery if you want more storage you'll need to get more SD cards, but make sure that the fast speed, the, the higher speed that uh, is for video. So if you want to use this, cam this video camera for just photos, you just push this button, that'll take a picture. Uh, and then it's saved the same way, and it'll show up in your menu as you look through it like I showed you with the videos. Manual settings, say if you want to do a manual uh, exposure, like if you want to do a special white balance. You can control them on the screen, but you first press this button. And is seen by the little red icon in the corner. That shows that you have automatic on. If you want to go manual settings, then you will see another setting come up. And that's that little, the little uh, up, down, left, and right symbol that's got different symbols on it. It's so tiny that you can't read. But if you get out a magnifying glass or look in the user manual, you can see what uh, what those mean and what those do because you can you can scroll through those by using your um, this this four key four arrow pad right here and doing your enters and your enter and your menu buttons on the on the top and the bottom there. At the beginning you want to keep it in automatic mode so that uh, it's, it's simpler to use. 
and for most things, most cases, you won't have any reason to have any type of uh, manual adjustments. And if you do want to save battery power, make sure you turn off the image stabilization, which is the last button on the back right here. Image stabilization uses up battery power, so you might want to turn that off if you're getting close to the end of your battery. Also remember the uh, taking photos, just like that. First you turn this button to view your photos and videos. Then look on the screen and you'll see, uh, you'll see either the photos or the videos show up. But if you look on the left hand side, it says all. And all means all of whatever you're looking at. But if you go, say I'm going to go arrow over and arrow, see how I arrowed over from the photos and then to this bar on the right. Now I'm over on this side where it says all. And I can go all or I can go down to this one, which will give me a choice. I hit enter. And that gives me a choice of different video formats that I want to view or at the bottom it says picture. If I want to view picture, then I hit enter, and that brings me back to my picture screen if I hit menu. And these are all my photos. I'm going to the left, all the way over to this little menu that shows all, and then it's got a shot of the video camera, or it's got a picture view of pictures. And let's go to the pictures and hit that and that actually shows will show a slideshow and the slideshow um, is if you want to show it on TV and you want to just go play each one a few seconds it'll, it gives you the interval size and uh, you can play a fun slideshow with all your photos and if you play the slideshow it actually plays some music with it and which is kind of surprising but uh, it will actually play music with your slides and I think you can turn that on or off. Here's some I took of Upperly Lake. Can't believe this, it's got music with it. <laughs> Deleting photos or videos. You've got to be in the play mode to the left. And then you can hit your little garbage button right over here. And don't worry about that. The little garbage can is not a scary thing. It's just, it'll do, it gives you choices. They're popped up on the screen. Do you want to delete scenes or do you want to delete everything? Arrow up and down with this arrow up and down key to select and then hit enter. And then it goes to, then you can choose which ones you want to delete. And here it says delete return, you hit enter. And it puts a little garbage can red symbol on the ones that you want to delete. Go to the right there and I hit enter. Put a little, it put a little garbage can on that one just now. And, uh, and then you go to the left, highlighting the word delete and enter. And then it gives you one more chance to delete the selected video scene. Video scenes cannot be restored, yes or no. So you just go arrow over to yes, enter one more time, now deleting, and finished, it says. That's all it is. All right. And uh, now that we've got it recorded and we know how to view it, I'm going to show you how to upload it to YouTube. And uh, you can also store it on your computer as well. The first thing is to plug in your camera. You've got this little put this little input next to the AV input and on the other end is the USB plug which goes into your computer. I'm going to plug it in just like that and select this PC and hit enter your bottom button. And then it's beeping it'll tell you the display will turn off when the USB is connected. There may be something that pops up on your screen that gives you many choices but I like to just go bypass that and uh, go to my computer. So if you can go to, or this is uh, Windows 7, um, and it just is computer. There it comes up. Uh, 
And then here we sh we'll uh, I'll zoom in a little bit. This is actually um, what's showing what's on the computer. And the one I'm looking for is usually a removable disk. Let's see, I believe it's this one, 14.5 gigabytes. That would be this one here. Let's double click on that one, removable disk F. And that is the right one. Um, then it says DCIM, this file it says DCIM. I'm gonna double click that. That gives us more folders. Uh, 101 CD PFQ um, through 108. And that's got another list of numbers, letters. But the thing I found is the photos have the C, the letter C right in the middle. The videos have the letter A right in the middle. As, as in 108XAPBH, like this last one. So I'm just gonna click on the last one, and those show that they are MP4 videos. So all we, uh, all we need to do is take and click and drag those two to the desktop, and uh, we're dropping them on there, and they're just gonna pop up on the screen. They're, um, and they're just gonna be transferred now to the computer. I'm going to close this out because they're loading in the background. Here's what it says, copying two items. Okay. All right, so those I dropped on the desktop. I clicked and dragged and put them on the desktop. Now they are on the computer, they're on the hard drive. Um, I could put them into a folder, I probably should, uh, but for now, uh, for, for just getting this, showing this quickly to get them on YouTube, I'll show you how to do that. Um, and if you don't have to do any editing or anything like that, uh, all we have to do is go bring up our browser, and I've got something else on there, but let's go to YouTube. I'm going to my channel. And that's usually up here in the upper right corner. You, you have choices and you say, here's my name in the upper right corner. And this is where I'm clicking in on my channel. Okay, so we're on my channel. And um, a little bit over to the left, it says upload. Let's click on upload, and right away it's, it says, uh, gives me a lot of different options on the, those little boxes to the right of the screen, but in this big screen on the left, it's got a big arrow, and it says select files to upload. So I go over the top of that, and you can, you can select files or you can drag and drop those files. It's really easy to just go up here and there's an out. Uh, right here, see about on the top of the screen. I am uh, actually going to just click and drag from my desktop right under this icon here, this red icon, and blop, and drop right there. And uh, now, as you can see, it's starting to load it onto YouTube. It's that easy. So you just have to fill out those title and description, and if you want to put some tags in there so people can find it. Uh, you can do all those kinds of things and then when you get done you can say say you've made some changes up here you can go down to the lower right corner and save changes and uh, that's how you load it to YouTube